Hey there, good looking. Join me for this upper body flow workout. Listen, this workout is focusing more on the endurance of your upper body muscles. So what that means is we'll be working higher reps with very little rest. So I want you to grab what you consider are a pair of light dumbbells. So for, a, for reference, I've grabbed myself a pair of fives and a pair of eights. The fives, just in case the eights get too heavy. <laughs> so you might want to do the same. You'll also need a mat if you're on a hard surface. So let's go get ourselves warmed up. Hi there, welcome. Listen, I forgot to mention in my intro, we will be doing push-ups. So if you don't like push-ups <laughs> and you want to make them suck less, I'd love for you to elevate your hands during the push-up portion. So that can be on a chair or a bench, or you can even use a wall. Deal? Awesome. Let's get ourselves warmed up with some arm circles. Let's go backwards. Really taking it slow, exaggerating that range of motion. Knees are soft, abs are engaged. So what I've done is done groupings of same muscle group training, three different exercises, 30 seconds of work, no rest in between, and two rounds. And then we get a 30 second break and we move into the next one. Last three, two, and one. Open and close the arms now. As mentioned, lighter dumbbells are going to be the best for this workout. We're not working the strength of the muscle, we are working the endurance of your muscle. So there are three different fibers within every muscle cell, and we're working more of the endurance on this workout. Last three, and two, and one. Now let's bring the arms out, palms down, and give me some circles. Doesn't matter which direction you go, because we'll go the other way in about 15 seconds. This is gonna get the shoulders nice and burny, and <laughs> get us ready for the workout. All right, in three, two, one, other direction, go. 15 seconds here. Keep those knees soft, nice and tall on the spine. Three, two, one, bend the elbows, bring them together and open. So you're trying to bring the elbows inside of the elbows together. The hands will come together, no problem. But what I want you to really do is focus on those inside elbows touching. And then you're keeping those arms as parallel to the ground as you can. In three, two, one, bring the arms out and squeeze the shoulder blades together. Arms still parallel with your floor. When we pull back, we're gonna grip into the shoulder blade region like we're trying to pinch something. Good job. And three, two, one. Hands at the shoulders, press them up and pull down. So rowing down, bringing the shoulder blades into the back pocket and then extending the arms straight up. Now let's pick it up for the last three and two and one. Whew, that almost felt like a workout itself, didn't it? <laughs> Grab a quick sip of water if you need it. I want you to start down on the ground. We start with push-ups. So like I said, if push-ups aren't your jam, elevate your hands. We can go on the knees if you'd like. Bring those hands slightly ahead of the shoulders and then just slightly wider than the shoulders. When we drop down in that push-up, elbows are going to the back of your mat and press all the way up. Once you see me, I want you to then look straight ahead, not letting the head drop and keeping your body in a solid plank, pushing up and down. So core in tight. So if you have a hard time with this, elevate your hands. Use your couch, use the chair. There's new one near you, all right? That will really assist you. All right, bring it down on the forearms now. You can stay on the knees and plank the hands up. And now let's lead with the other hand as you plank up. Alternating your lead arm, advance people off of the knees. 15 more seconds here, and then we're gonna hold a forearm plank. 
And that's our third move of the series, and we'll go back to push-ups. Wrist going right under the shoulder, making those triceps work. All right, go on to the forearms for me. Staying on the toes if you're advanced and intermediate. Go on to the knees if you're just starting out in your fitness journey. Take your gaze straight ahead. Don't let the head drop. Breathe. Things are starting to get a little toasty. Yep, I understand. I'm with you. <laughs> but we are going to power through one more round in 10 seconds. Push-ups in three, two, one. On the knees if you have to. Wrists wider than shoulders, in front of the shoulders. Chest to ground if you can. Breathe out as you press up. Let's get one more in. Plank ups coming up. Here we go. On the knees if you need to. Plank up. Wrist under shoulder. Now plank up with the other arm. Come on to the toes if you're intermediate advanced. Now how do you know if you're intermediate? Well, if you've been working out pretty consistently for three months, I think you can call yourself intermediate. <laughs> so maybe I just graduated some of you. <laughs> Your diploma is in the mail. <laughs> All right, plank it out. Forearms, knees or toes. You can't keep calling yourself a beginner for the rest of your life. <laughs> Woo. Last 10 seconds and then we get a break. In three, two, one, woo, all righty. Grab a sip of water if you need it. We are now gonna pick on your biceps. So this is why I recommended two louder pairs of dumbbells because your biceps I find for a lot of women, we can actually lift a little heavier. So this is where I'm gonna give my eight pounds a try, all right? So if you wanna join me on that, Great, if not, grab what you consider are light and stick with that. Now let's get ourselves set up. Same thing, three exercises, 30 seconds of work, two rounds, no rest. Turn your palms to me. Now let's perform a half a bicep curl. So just give me half of it and lower. So just half, no swinging, knees soft, palms stay facing me. So it's not a hammer curl. So it's almost like you're leading with your pinky. We're only coming up halfway. So hopefully you probably figured out what the next part of this exercise is. That's right, we'll go from the top all the way to your shoulder and then end it halfway. So we're doing the bottom half here. We'll do the top half in three, two, one, right here, top half. Keep those elbows under the shoulders. Keep leading with your pinky. When the timer goes, it's a full bicep curl from there. I almost thought to myself before I started this workout, oh, eight pounds aren't, isn't gonna be enough for my biceps. Yep, it's enough. <laughs> I'm quite happy I didn't grab my tens. All right, full ones now. Curl up, slowly lower. We're not swinging. We're keeping the elbow under the shoulder joint. We're still leading with that pinky. Woo, knees are soft. Those abs of yours are tight. Last few reps, and then we go back to that bottom half of our curl. Let's do one more. All right, Whew. bottom half, let's go. Halfway through this one. Whew. We got the top half of the curl coming up in about 10 seconds. Go all the way to the shoulder now and just lower just so you're halfway. 
Try to keep the rest of the body still. Full curl coming up in 10 seconds. <laughs> oh yeah, I am really glad I didn't grab my tens. <laughs> One more here. Now full curl. Last 30 seconds. We shake those arms out, get a sip of water in less than 30. Come on, keep that form tight, not swinging the arms. One more. Woo! All right, grab a sip of water if you need it. Shake those arms out. You will definitely want to do that. Now we're going to pick on the triceps, the back of the upper arm. So I'm going to use my fives for that. We have tricep kickbacks. And then the second exercise, we'll just lift up a little bit out of our hip hinge and press straight arms behind us. And then we'll take both dumbbells and go behind the head for tricep extensions. All right, same thing, two rounds, no rest. So let's get set up. Feet hip width apart, give me that hip hinge, knees soft, elbows up, kick back. Oh, this isn't good. My triceps are still sore from the other workout I did a couple of days ago. <laughs> Don't swing them. You're controlled, especially as you come down, there can be this sort of dropping of the weight. I don't want you to drop the weight. I want you to control. One more. Now arms straight, lift up a little bit and you're pushing straight back and coming just to the body, not in front of the body. So just come to the side of your thighs. We're getting a little mid back action as well with this in rear delt and then into the long head of the tricep. We'll bring the dumbbells behind the head for behind the head tricep extensions in about five seconds. One more. Double up the weight and go. So right behind the head. I like a staggered stance for this. The other option is a dumbbell in each hand. So not crossing the dumbbell and holding onto both dumbbells with the hands, doing it each independently. I find this one's challenging, more challenging. One more. All right, kick backs, hip hinge, elbows up, kick back. Our speed of movement's a little faster than a traditional strength workout. And you can do that safely, taking it a little faster to up the intensity because our weight are lighter. Let's do two more, one more. Straighten the arm, lift up just a tad. Dumbbells go right back. Palms are facing the wall behind you and then the hands are just coming to the sides of the thighs. Again, you're going to get triceps, but you may feel more into the rear delt, mid-back area, which is not bad to get either, right? <laughs> the more muscles, the better. See two more, one more. Tricep extensions behind the head, go. Last 30 seconds of work. Letting those elbows really bend. We want those dumbbells coming right behind you. Work through the triceps, full range of motion. One more. Woo! All right, shake it out. We're just moving into our final series now. Okay, we're moving into shoulders, which have helped us in the last three other circuits. We'll begin with an alternating shoulder press. 
for 30 seconds, and then we'll bring our palms so that they're facing our body. Lift the dumbbells up to shoulder height and lower for 30 seconds, and then bring our hands to the sides and lift to shoulder height away from the body. All right, I'm gonna stick with my fives. You choose your weapon of choice, hands up, abs engage, alternate your press, straightening the arm each time. So more triceps here too. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> but this is our last grouping. And we'll do a quick little stretch and you can continue on with your day. Or maybe you're going to partner this up with another workout. Let's do one more each arm. Last one. Bring the arms in front, palms facing you. Lift up. Now, if you're having a really ch a challenging time keeping the core engaged and not losing your back on this one, I want you to lift up alternating. Typically, I'll do alternating when we lift heavier because we do get better core control. So if you're having a hard time, just go one at a time. Otherwise, you are really rooted, neutral spine, coming up to shoulder height only. Let's do one more. Now bring the arms down by your side and lift only to shoulder height, soften into those elbow joints. Nice job. Starting to feel those shoulders again. <laughs> Actually, I don't think we've stopped feeling those shoulders, have we? All right, arms up and alternate your press or advanced people, both arms press. Last round. So alternating is just giving that one arm a bit of a break while you do one at a time. So that's why two arms is harder. But maybe you can pump them out knowing that this is our last round. It's amazing what we can do when we know we don't have to do it anymore. <laughs> Let's do one more here. All right, front lateral, one at a time or both. Shoulder height only. Here's that side view. Controlling the descent down too, not just letting those dumbbells drop. Two more. One more. Side lateral raise, push the walls away from you. Lifting the arms up, but keeping those shoulders away from the earlobes. We want to train into your deltoid, your shoulder muscle, not the upper traps. That meaty muscle there, that's always really painful when you go for a massage. <laughs> All right, last 10 seconds. Let's do this. Come on. Breathe. Three more. Two more. One more. Oh, no more. Nicely done. Woo, shake it out. All right, let's do a couple of stretches. Start with a bent elbow and just mirror me. Bring that arm in towards you. Feel that stretch in the back of the shoulder. Nicely done. Now let's straighten the arm, thumb up, and press in. Might feel it more in the sort of shoulder blade region like this. Take this arm behind the head. Give me a little lean away so we get a side of body stretch. Stretch around this area here that we call the serratus anterior muscle group and then into that tricep. Release. Start with the bent elbow, the other arm. Press in. Now let's straighten the arm, thumb up, press in. And take that arm behind you. Walk the hand down in between the shoulder blades as best you can and then lean away. Release, interlace the hands behind your back, 
pull the shoulders back and down, lift the arms away from the body as best you can. And then let's just extend the spine a bit and lift the chest and heart to the ceiling. Two breaths here. Release. Thank you so much for joining me. I look forward to reading your comments down below and I look forward to also seeing you in our next workout together. Bye. Hey there, good looking. Join me for this upper body workout. We're, we're, we, 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 No rest. So grab yourself some light weights. <laughs> for reference, I have a pair of fives and eights. You'll also want a mat if you're on a hard surface. Do you want a mat? Yes, you do. Damn it.